welcome to this new section of the Moodle administration course. In this section, you will begin to explore your role as a Moodle administrator. Then, in further lessons, we will start to customize the very basic user interface elements of your site installation. The fundamental building blocks of Moodle are called as blocks. They are these rectangular interface items you see on the page and they provide much of the functionality a Moodle LMS will offer. You will also use blocks to extend the functionality and customize your Moodle exactly how you will want it to function. The perfect analogy for this concept is Lego building blocks. There are several LMS functionalities that you can choose to provide or not for your own installation and most of them will appear on the screen in the form of blocks. When some advanced functionality that you seek for your LMS is not available in your vanilla Moodle download, there are thousands of additional plugins available in the Moodle online repository and almost always you will be able to find a close fit to what you want. Over and beyond that, if you want to customize even further, since this is open source, the programming code is also available and you can change it yourself or get a developer to change it for you. You will learn about plugins in a later section. We will continue to explore blocks in the next lesson also, but now I want to introduce to you the administration block, which will be your toolbox as the administrator. Much of your administration work will origin from this block. So I urge you to get familiar with it in your own installation. Now, all blocks are context sensitive. This means that what appears inside a block will depend primarily on two things. What is the role of the user logged in and what page is being currently displayed? On this page, I am currently logged in as the administrator and on this page, the only key link I see is the site administration link and there is also a search box. When I expand the site administration link, I see the full gamut of admin navigation. The links with the gear icons are configuration pages and the other links are menus which lead to even more configuration pages. All the key entities of your LMS can be found here and you can configure them including users, courses, grades, security and so on. We will be learning these in detail throughout the course. Before we go to the next lesson, I will show how exactly context works in Moodle. The administration block in fact is available to all roles in Moodle including the teacher and the student also. But whether it will appear and what it will contain depends on the context. Okay, we have already seen how it appears in the administrator. Next, I will switch over to a teacher role. On the screen now, I am on a different installation and logged in as a teacher. And I am also inside a course. Here also I have the administration block, but for the teacher, the key navigation link is the course administration. Previously for the administrator, you are seeing site administration. This will obviously not be present for the teacher. The teacher will be able to manage all aspects of the course from the administration block. This is our first example of administration block changing by context depending on the role. Let us see one more example. I am now logged in as a student in yet another live installation of Moodle. As a student also, the administration block is available to me, but the only thing I can now administrate is my own profile settings and my own content that I have created. So this is one more example in which context changes what appears inside a block. I will now return back to the administrator role. Finally, a quick recap of what we have seen in this lesson. Blocks are the fundamental UI components in Moodle. 
they are these rectangular units on the page as the administrator most of your work will originate from the administration block and the site administration link in particular blocks are context sensitive context means who is logged in and what page is currently being shown in the next lesson we will continue to explore blocks in some more detail